thank me. No! David! Gabe! I, I, I'm sorry, that was an accident. You were going to kill her. She was going for her gun. Look at her. Gabe, I'm... She can't even stand up. It was over the line, Gabe. You're right. Gabe. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that to you. You know that. Why the hell are you all looking at me that way? They're just... They're scared, David. Of what? I'm protecting them. Why are you pointing a gun at us? So I'm all alone. Fine then. You people are on your own. I've seen that look in his eyes before. You should go after him. David? What are you doing? Come on, just take a step back. You wouldn't want to, you know, slip or something. Come over here. Or are you afraid of me too? I know the rest of them are. Right? Even if they are, I'm not. I've dealt with scarier than you, brother. There's no if, Javi. They are. My wife, Javi. My son, they look at me differently. Maybe you're seeing them differently. I want to show you something. Stand with me. Uh, why the hell are you smiling? See that sewer line over there? Perfect placement for a trench. That hill, about a hundred paces west of it. Sniper's wildest dream come true. I'm a soldier, Javi. I see this landscape like a painter sees a blank canvas. Like how you used to see a baseball diamond. I'm a soldier. This makes sense to me. I was made for this. Baseball was a lifetime ago. I miss it so fucking much. When I wasn't deployed, I'd miss being out in the field. Now that's all I am. Every day. A soldier isn't a husband. Or a father. A soldier is a soldier. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing at all. Call yourself whatever you want. I still see you as my brother. That is kind of you to say, Javi. I wish... I wish I had your heart, sometimes. I want to change, Javi. I always have. Really? All you ever tried to do was get me to change. <sighs> Only because I couldn't bring myself to do it first. It's the one war I could never win. And I'm wondering why. Is it because I don't know how? Or because it's impossible to change who you really are? There's a way. There always is. No matter how lost you are. You just have to keep looking until you find it. Looks pretty messy. For now. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Just gotta live long enough to find out. Just like with anything else. I did what you asked. You did. Thanks for that. So now, will you step back? <laughs> sure. I found them! They're up here! 
Be careful, Javi. I ran into... He was still outside when we checked on the entrances. The muertos were everywhere. We got him inside just in time. So we let him in. There were so many muertos out there. <sighs> well, this won't be awkward whatsoever. Uh, trip. Uh, about earlier. Yeah, about that. I ain't gonna punch you in the teeth. Though, I got every right. Really? Figured you'd put up a little bit of a fight. Oh, I'd love nothing more, but... I just... Can't shake this slippery feeling I got. Like I'm... Standing in shoes that don't quite fit. You picked me to die, and... Someone else did instead. Ain't sitting right. Not one bit. I knew she wouldn't shoot you. I knew she was gonna shoot Ava instead. Don't bullshit a bullshitter, partner. I keep putting myself in your position. About Conrad, about all of this. Asking myself over and over again whether I'd do the same. I'd love to tell you I wouldn't. I really would. But I can't. If someone threatened my family, I'd shoot them in a heartbeat. Hell, I'd shoot them twice to make sure the lesson stuck. It's a complicated world. But at least there's people to share it with. Bygones? How about it? You bet. Bygones. Try not to piss me off again, please. There's so many. They're pouring in. It's even worse than you think. The streets are overrun. Nowhere to go except inside the buildings, and those smelly fuckers are beating down every door. We're sitting goddamn ducks here. Everyone in town is. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck have we done? So what do we do? I don't want to die up here. None of us do, Gabe. Stabilize the city. Figure out how to make it safer for everyone. I saw construction vehicles when we got the armored truck. We can use those to stop the muertos, seal the breach, and save Richmond. That's over by the motor pool at the water tower. We could use the highway overpass to get to the water tower. Come on. Let's jump. Come on. It's an easy jump. Keep your eyes open, stay aware of your surroundings, all of you. Let's move out. When we found Kate earlier, she hugged you. Why do you think she hugged you? Why was that? Just wondering. You really want to know? Then ask her. She won't even make eye contact with me. We need to be careful up here or else the exact same thing will happen to us. Stay sharp and do not fire your guns. We're gonna be fine. That guy was all alone. We're not. Everyone hold back. Let Javi and I clear out these walkers. Good to go. Let's move. You okay, bud? When I was little, Dad used to ask me what I wanted to be when I was a man. 
pointed him. He always liked that. I thought he was such a great guy. It would always make him smile. Yeah. Lots of kids hero worship like that. It's part of the job. Yeah. I guess it was. Be like your uncle. He told me that all the time. Don't be a man who relies on other people to solve your problems. Because then you're not a man at all. I used to think he was right. Not anymore though, Javi. I can only hope I grow up to be like you. So, here's hoping. I just can't believe your dad said that. It's pretty shitty. He was wrong. You know that. So do I. He took such good care of me. Now we need to take care of Dad. He's the one that needs our help. We're gonna have to go around the side. There's barely any room. <sighs> well, no time to waste. Come on. You know, I didn't think there was much that could scare me anymore. And yet, here we are. It just goes to show you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my life god. is full of surprise. I'm not just scared. I'm fucking terrified. Thanks, Trip. That was shit, my nuts. Ah, fuck you, fuck stick. Son of a goddamn. This ain't nothing. Once we're back on the ground, that's when this shit's really gonna get scary. Got a bad feeling. Good lord. It's nasty down there. You just saved my life. I mean, thanks, Strip. I'm glad you have my back. Lucky catch. That's all. We have to get across. I know Gabe doesn't see it, but David really is trying to look out for him. He's not doing the best job, but no one gives you a rule book to raise a kid. And they sure as shit don't. There's just one thing I don't get, though. Did David really think he was helping AJ by letting him go? Why did he stop guarding him? He was afraid. Holding a baby in his arms probably scared him ten times more than any worth, though. I don't understand. After you put in all that work, so much of your heart... AJ was a brat. He lived with me after we kicked you out, Clem. I'd already raised two kids. Thought it'd be a piece of cake. <laughs> Not with that tyrant. Is that why you gave him away? We had a bad winter. Destroyed every crop we had. I couldn't leave Richmond. And A.J. couldn't stay in Richmond. I gave A.J. to Lingard and told him to do whatever he had to to save his life. I miss that brat. Never asked Lingard about it again. Though I wanted to. I bet the little brat misses you too. Both of you. It wasn't easy, Clem. Remember. As far as I knew, I'd already lost two children. Wasn't any easier with number three. It's never easy. I'm gonna keep you alive. Keep all of us alive. And hope that that's enough. Enough for atonement. We're all abandoned one way or the other eventually. 
I guess AJ's no different. Holy shit. Chopped right in half. The hell happened here? You're not thinking it's that or go back. We should go lightest to heaviest. That way it won't break on the first swing. I'll go first, Clem. Get a long run up, but not too long. If you take too many quick steps, you'll propel yourself upward instead of out. Same with your jump. Just run off the end, don't leave. David. Try not to... He's got this. She's right. I do. <sighs> Come on, Clem. Your turn. For the record, I do not trust this thing. Not at all. It's one thing for the kids to swing across, but us? You've got this. I've seen you do things that are way scarier. Okay. I can do it. All right, David, you're up. You're the little brother. You should go first. Oh, you're definitely lighter. Ah, oh, come on, you know the drill. Age before beauty. <laughs> you fucker. One last, brother. Trip, you don't have Just to. Just go before I throw you across. For him. Don't be fucking thick! I can... I can handle this! Oh, shit. Trip! Don't give up! Oh, my God. We gotta try. We can't just leave him. Y'all head out now! I don't want you seeing oh, this! Trip! Come on! No. 
Motherfucker! Trip! No! He went out fighting. I hope I do too. I'm sorry about your friend, Javi. He seemed like a good guy. The kind of guy you want on your side in a fight. It's priceless. Come on. We're almost there. miss when all we did was track the herd from a safe distance we need to get down there we're not getting anywhere without one of those vehicles it's not like we could just ask all those walkers to move out of the way how about we make some noise and distract them we could use that generator that's a great idea Gabe why don't you get so smart Gabe you really aren't the same kid I remember it's pretty obvious. Should have tried noticing. I'm definitely paying attention from now on. Proud of you, Gabe. Uh... Thanks. We still gotta get to the generator somehow. Cut a walker open and cover yourself with its guts. Then you can slip right through them. What? Ugh. I mean, please tell me you're kidding. I said please. So, who's gonna do it? Javi, you've been willing to do some crazy stuff for me before. I know shooting Conrad wasn't... easy. But it showed me I can always depend on you. Of course, Clem. Look, 